This was, it was cool. amazing. What, 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 what <laughs> good. Are you guys it was so now? cool. What, are they bigger than you thought? Terrifying, yeah, a little oh, terrifying. Yeah. Way bigger than I thought. Uh huh, way bigger. Especially Sam. Sam is like, way bigger than I thought. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sam. Sam like, was way bigger than I thought. Really bigger than I thought. <laughs> These Idaho educators just emerged from a behind the scenes look at a couple of grizzly bears at the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center near Yellowstone. The coolest thing <laughs> ever. <laughs> It is the culmination of a three-day Project Wild workshop for teachers called Wild About Bears. And bears are one of those species that we fear and love at the same time, and so it's an easy tool to work with when it comes to teaching. The workshop takes place at Idaho's Harriman State Park on the western edge of the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Here, the teachers learn ways to easily incorporate wildlife and ecological concepts into subjects they're already teaching. I've taken other Project Wild classes and love them. They're super fun and wanted to learn more about bears so I could bring it into my classroom to help my kids understand animals that live in Idaho. That's the idea behind Project Wild. And so instead of teaching just 30 kids, we've taught 30 teachers that have in turn taught thousands of kids and hopefully those kids have told their parents. And The workshop includes a variety of bear-related activities, biological information, and how to safely manage human-bear interactions. For example, how do you react to a grizzly bear attack? Bear! And the most surprising thing of the three-day workshop? Um, how hard it is to use bear spray. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking when you have a bear running up towards you. And that was before Jenny Mitchell saw these grizzlies up close. But it is a lesson she will share with her classroom. I like teaching wild about bears because it's not just about bears, it's about people. And the more we educate folks about bears, uh, we can have more bears and people together in the same place, and that's good for everyone.